everyone, Stephanie Denman and Elora Denman here from the Denman Homestead. And today we are going to try our hand at fried green tomatoes. So Kim, my mother-in-law, always makes fried green tomatoes. I've actually never made them because she always makes them and she always makes them amazing. So I've never really had to. Um, but now that I grew, grew those green giants uh, tomato variety, I gave some to, to her to make and she made some and I went and tried them and they were the bomb, they were delicious. I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try my own, my own version. And I'll tell you, I'm gonna kinda make it up because I've got some ingredients that I wanna incorporate and I wanna try to do something different and just wing it. Now I have in the past done like a, ba a, wet, um, a wet batter to dry batter to fry, like different things. So I have like a basic understanding of like uh, the dredge and all that kind of stuff. But I wanna just do kind of my own concoction. So that's what we're gonna do, me and Alora. So this is gonna be my dry right here and I'm just gonna do some all-purpose flour on my plate. Some all-purpose flour. And I've got some cornmeal here. This is white cornmeal. Add some white cornmeal. Looks like milk. Yeah, and then I'm also gonna add in some of my buttermilk. That is my secret ingredient to my buttermilk biscuits. If you've never seen that video, this powdered buttermilk, game changer. So if you don't have liquid buttermilk all the time, I keep this powdered buttermilk in my refrigerator to use as a buttermilk replacement and it works really well. So I'm just gonna do a scoop of powdered buttermilk in there and... Can I mix it? Hmm? Can I mix it? Sure, let's get you a whisk. Hold on. So when you, when you mix this, you have to do it very slowly so it doesn't spill over, okay? I'm gonna move it to you. I don't really have measurements, we're just measuring with our heart. I'm just putting on here what looks good. That's what they always say. Yep, that's what they always say. All right, and then to this mixture, I'm gonna add in some Cajun seasoning. So I'm gonna add a little bit of Tony Sachery's. So I've added. A I've added some Cajun seasoning. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to my mix. And then in my wet bowl, I'm gonna crack an egg and add a little bit of milk. Do you wanna do the egg? Okay. My favorite thing you're doing cooking is cracking eggs. Okay, crack the egg. You can crack it on here if you'd like. Or the bowl, whichever. This is closer, so. Okay. Good job. Okay, put that in the trash can and then you can wash your hands. Um, oh, we got a little shell in there, that's okay. You want me to show you a trick? So oh, you can open it and like try to scoop it up. Right? Yeah, if you take this, if you take the shell like this and you scoop it, it scoops out easier. Well, if you can get a good part of the. There we go. Yeah, it kind of like cuts through it. See how we got that in there? All right, now both of us need to wash our hands. Into this egg, I'm going to add in some whole milk. And then I'm gonna make a mess a little bit. And then I'm just gonna whisk this together. How do you mix it? Hmm? You make like. Mm hmm. Okay, so I've got my little dredging station set up. I've got the dry and the wet. And I have my green tomatoes over here. I have sliced some. And then the other day, Kim chopped hers into cubes, into chunks. So I did some that way too. Now what I did, I don't know if Kim does this or not, but I went ahead and sprinkled a little bit of salt on these tomatoes to get them to release um, any like excess moisture they may be holding, um, just so that they can um, bind onto the 
other liquid ingredients better instead of being so wet um, that they wouldn't it would slip off. So I want this to be kind of blotted dry, as dry as we can, and then we will start the dredge. And the salt just helps them to release uh, some of that moisture that they have. So, okay, let's start with some of our sliced green tomatoes. They're so big. Check this out. They're so meaty. There's hardly, I mean, there's some seeds around the edges, but they're so tiny. They're not filled with a bunch of seeds. So that's pretty cool. I'm just going to set this down in here. Are you going to do one at a time? Hmm? Are you going to do one at a time? Yep, one at a time. Drip off a little bit of the excess and then lay this down in our dry. I might try some of this. Yeah, I hope you do. And just kind of work this around. Oh, it's just like ma making homemade uh, fish toast sticks. Sure, yeah, kind of. I'm gonna set this aside. It's like the tomatoes are bread, because you have to get bread and you put them like in a kind of sauce and then you have to like put them, want to make sure, you just make sure it's all around. Mm-hmm. Probably could double batter or, or double dip these ones in here. I don't need that one just yet. So to see if your oil's ready, you take a wooden spoon and you stick the end of it in here. Oh, Mom, I can't do that. And if it starts to bubble, like do you see these bubbles? Yeah. That means that your oil is getting hot enough to fry. Mommy. Hmm. Or you can take a little bit of your batter. But I'm too small to do that. No, I know. That's what I was just showing you. So when I'm bigger, I can see. Yeah, when you're bigger. All right, let's try this, see how these turn out. Oh, sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. I'm definitely not gonna do that. No? I'm tempted to double do these. No, like mom, like, like I'm not gonna put it in the oil because I'm a kid. Oh yeah, well, that's why you got moms. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna like these double dredged. So I'm gonna put these back in the wet and then back in the dry. Yeah, you can dip them in ranch or something if you want. Oop. Okay. Try not to splash these. We're getting ready to pull some of these out and let them drain on a paper towel. And they look pretty good. No, Dad, go first. Anyone else want a fork? Might be a little warm. Look, this is what I do. What do you think, buddy? Mm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Well. It's my first time to make them. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, man. Mm. Caden, you're not going to try them? Got that tanginess. Okay, this is busted. Savoriness. Busting right here. Mm. Okay, if there, I wouldn't eat these. Like, what do you think, Connor? Time. What do you rate it? Huh? What do you rate it, Connor? Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten? Yes. Eight out of ten? So you'll sit, you'll eat a whole one? Oh, no. <laughs> what do you say? Uh, Probably yeah. not. Uh, you know what? You know what? I'll, I'll I have something these. else for y'all to try. I'll give these uh, oh, right. Kaden. Kaden. Don't walk away. I want you to try these. Kaden, don't walk away. I want you to try these. <laughs> Bro, you dropped the green bean. No, okay. Kaden dropped the green bean. Again. Green bean. Still good. But it's definitely a 10 out of 5 right there. What is? These are fresh. Oh, yeah? 10 out of 10? No, he said 10 out of 5. Oh. It's a 10 out of 10. Oh. Those cubed ones are really good. They're yeah. like oh. super soft. Yeah. 
Cube, do you like oh. the cubed or the slices better? <clears throat> I don't know if I've ever had them cubed. I've always had them in slices, but I, I, I think they're both really, really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll see. Your mom made them cubed the other day, and I was like, man, that's pretty cool. A cool way to cook yeah. them. Mm. Oh. I could just like yeah. stay in here all night. Not the healthiest way to eat them, but. Mm. Delish. So good still. No, I want more fries. Oh no. Who's, he, who's is that? Are you eating that, Connor? Mm -hmm. I want more I fries. fries Mom, more fries. Mom, more I'll fries. I'll make more. Okay. Well. That was awesome. Thanks good for hanging out with me. And my first attempt to make fried green tomatoes, and I think they were a hit. Okay, Great I success. Yeah. 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 Bye. Bye, guys.